So we are at stage four, paragraph page two hundred and thirty nine. Stage four, two hundred and thirty nine. And our last headword was promise, new word type of lesson. Okay, so let's start with our revision. 329. Okay, so here we go. 323. Okay, first question. Many years ago, how did pirates travel around? Many years ago, how did pirates travel around? Many years ago, pirates traveled around on sailing ships. Is a boat bigger than a ship? Is a boat bigger than a ship? No. A boat isn't bigger than a ship. It's smaller than a ship. Can you go home from here by ship? Can you go home from here by ship? No. I can't go home from here by ship. Why not? Because there's no sea between here and my home. Very good. Are we almost at the end of the lesson? Are we almost at the end of the lesson? Yes or no? No. We aren't almost at the end of the lesson. Does almost everybody love chocolate? Does almost everybody love chocolate? Yes. Almost everybody loves chocolate. Tell me something you do almost every day but not every day. Tell me something you do almost every day but not every day. I... Study English almost every day. Very good. What's this? What's this? It's a hole. Is there a keyhole in this door? Is there a keyhole in this door? Yes. There's a keyhole in that door. What happens if we use an umbrella with holes in it? What happens if we use an umbrella with holes in it? If we use an umbrella with holes in it, we get wet. Tell me one difference between a comic and a magazine. Tell me one difference between a comic and a magazine, please. One difference between a comic and a magazine is that a comic is full of drawings. And a magazine is full of photos. Is there a magazine that you like a lot? Is there a magazine that you like a lot? No, there isn't a magazine that I like a lot. What's the best place to hide in your room? Where's the best place to hide in your room? The best place to hide in my room is in the closet. Name an animal that's too big to hide in your building. Name an animal that's too big to hide in your building. An animal that's too big to hide in my building is Godzilla. Godzilla. Okay, it's in stories, where do pirates generally hide their treasure? In stories, where do pirates generally hide their treasure? In stories, pirates generally hide their treasure on islands in the middle of the sea. Very good. Again, next, what's the past tense of verb speak? What's the past tense of the verb to speak? The past tense of the verb to speak. He spoke. Did you speak with any of your friends yesterday? Did you speak with any of your friends yesterday? Yes. I spoke with some of my friends yesterday. 
Did Kate drink any juice at Sophie's house yesterday? Did Kate drink any juice at Sophie's house yesterday? Yes, Kate drank some juice at Sophie's house yesterday. Did Charlie and Dan eat cake at the birthday party yesterday? Did Charlie and Dan eat cake at the birthday party yesterday? Yes, Charlie and Dan ate cake at the birthday party yesterday. Why did you come here today? Why did you come here today? I came here to learn English. What present did your parents give you for your birthday last year? What presents did your parents give you for your birthday last year? My parents gave me a Ferrari for my birthday last year. Did you tell me your name at the beginning of the lesson? Did you tell me your name at the beginning of the lesson? Yes. I told you my name at the beginning of the lesson. Did they run in any races at school last year? Did they run in any races at school last year? Yes. They ran in some races at school last year. Did I write anything on this piece of paper at the beginning of the lesson? Did I write anything on this piece of paper at the beginning of the lesson? Yes. You wrote something on that piece of paper at the beginning of the lesson. What did I hold in my hand last so uh, Did you read? Did we read our Calend for Kids books last month? Did we, did we read our Calend for Kids books last month? Yes, we read our Calend for Kids books last month. What did I hold in my hand last lesson? What did I hold in my hand last lesson? You held your pen in your hand last lesson. Whose bag did you take home with you after the lesson? Whose bag did you take home with you after the lesson? I took my bag home with me after the lesson. Did you draw any pictures in your art lesson at school last month? Did you draw any pictures in your art lesson at school last month? Yes, I draw some pictures in my art lesson at school last month. Very good. Okay. Did they sit on the floor last lesson? Did they sit on the floor last lesson? No. They didn't sit on the floor last lesson. They sat on their chairs. They sat on their chairs. Did I say hello to you at the end of the last lesson? Did I say hello to you at the end of the last lesson? No. You didn't say hello to me at the end of the last lesson. You said goodbye. Did you wear a suit and a tie in bed last night? Did you wear a suit and a tie at bed last night? No, I didn't wear a suit and tie in bed last night. I wore pajamas in bed last night. I wore pajamas in bed last night. I wore pajamas in bed last night. Bed last night. Very good. Did you go home in an airplane after the last lesson? Did you go home on an airplane after the last lesson? No, I didn't go home on an airplane 
after the last lesson. I went home by car. Did you get up early this morning? Did you get up early this morning? No, I didn't get up early this morning. I got up late. I got up late. I got up late. Very good. Excellent. Do you ever promise to do something and then forget to do it? Do you ever promise to do something and forget to do it? No. I never promise to do something and then forget it. Do your parents always do everything they promise to do? Do your parents promise to do everything they promise to do? Yes. My parents always do everything they promise to do. Okay, very good. Okay, so that's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Okay, repeat. Polite. Impolite. Impolite. Okay. Two things we say a lot when we want to be polite are please and thank you. It isn't polite to point at people and laugh at them. It's impolite. Very good. Okay, so. Let's practice. Tell me two things we say a lot when we want to be polite. Tell me two things we always say a lot when we want to be polite. Two things we say a lot when we want to be polite are please and thank you. Is it polite to point at people and laugh at them? Is it polite to point at people and laugh at them? No, it isn't polite to laugh at people and point at them. It's impolite. It's impolite. Very good. Which is more polite to say, I want or I like? Which is more polite to say, I want or I like? It's more polite to say, I like than I want. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. I like to go home now. I like a bowl of cereal. I like a pet dog for my birthday. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Conversation. Excuse me. Very good. Okay, listen. I can have a simple conversation with you in English. If two adults are having a conversation and I want to ask you a question, the polite thing to say first is excuse me. Okay, let's practice. Can you have a simple conversation with me in English? Can you have a simple conversation with me in English? Yes, I can have a simple conversation with you in English. Okay, very good. In English. How can we have a conversation with a friend in another town? How can we have a conversation with a friend in another town? We can have a conversation with a friend in another town on the telephone or on the internet. If two adults are having a conversation and you want to ask a question, what's the polite thing to say? If 
two adults are having a conversation and you want to ask a question, what's the polite thing to say? Yes. If two adults are having a conversation, the polite thing to say is excuse me. Give me some example. Give me some examples, please. Excuse me. May I have an apple, please? Okay, re repeat horrible. Make friends. Very good. Okay, listen. I haven't got any horrible friends. I only make friends with someone if they're nice. Very good. Okay, let's practice. Have you got any horrible friends? Have you got any horrible friends? Oh, I haven't got any horrible friends. I haven't got any horrible friends. Any horrible friend. Why not? Why not? Because I only make friends with someone if they're nice. Do you ever say horrible things to people when they're when you're angry? Do you ever say horrible things to people when you're angry? No. I never say horrible things to people when I'm angry. Okay, very good. Next. Beat the midday. Midnight. Midday, midnight. Okay, listen. It's after midday at the moment. I sometimes go to bed after midnight. Go to bed after midnight. Okay, very good. Let's practice. Is it before or after midday at the moment? Is it before or after midday at the moment? It's after midday at the moment. It's after midday at the moment. At the moment. Okay, which meal do you eat before midday? Your breakfast, your lunch, or your dinner? Which meal do you eat before midday? Your breakfast, your lunch, or your dinner? I eat my breakfast before midday. Do you ever go to bed after midnight? Do you ever go to bed after midnight? Yes or no? Yes, I sometimes go to bed after midnight very good okay next repeat hurt hurt okay very good listen very cold ice cream hurts my teeth let's practice this very cold ice cream hurts your teeth does very cold ice cream hurt your teeth? Yes. Very cold ice cream hurt my teeth. Does it hurt much if we fall over on soft grass? Does it hurt much if we fall over on soft grass? No. It doesn't hurt much if we fall over on soft grass. Okay. Now let's move on to reading. 
Okay, our reading is at stage two, page 162. Okay, and our last head word was count. Okay, so let's start from where we ended. Count. Okay, where are we? Okay, here we go. Let's start. So, tell me the names of a great TV program. Please, the name of a great TV program is Doraemon. Doraemon. Do you think that's a bad picture? A good picture or a great picture? I think it's a great picture. Very good. Okay, make another sentence with the word great. Make another sentence with the word great, please. My mom makes great jam sandwiches. Very good. Next, shout angry. What am I doing? You're shouting. When do people shout? People shout when they're angry or when somebody can't hear them. Okay, next. What are the three colors? For a traffic light, the three colors for a traffic light are red, orange, and green. What must a car do when a traffic light is red? A car must stop when a traffic light is red. And when can the car start moving again? The car can start moving again when the traffic light is green. At this lesson, what time do we start studying? At this lesson, we start studying at 6.30 p.m. And when do we stop studying? We stop studying at 6.55 p.m. Okay, next. Cross the road. Way. Look both ways. Very good. Okay, must we look both ways before we cross the road? Yes, we must look both ways before we cross the road. Which way do we look first, left or right? We look right first. Very good. Okay, that's the end of stage two. Let's have stage three reading. Okay, so let's start stage three reading. Here we go. Possessive adjectives and pronouns. Okay. Tell me the possessive adjective, please. The possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. Where do we put the possessive adjective? We put a possessive adjective in front of a noun. Give me an example, please. I like your shirt. Is this our classroom? Yes, it's our classroom. Are her feet on the floor? Yes, her feet are on the floor. Okay, so we only...